What's going on guys, Silver Steve here, and this video is going to be, it's a start of a new series that I've been wanting to start, and it's, um, and this one as you can see on the screen, it's a Chelsea career mode. Um, I've always been a fan of the career mode um, section on FIFA, I've always thought it was good fun, um, always trying out with different teams, I mean I'm personally a Newcastle fan, so always trying with that can be quite challenging, especially this season. Um, I did one of Arsenal, which was really good, and I had a brilliant team, I think it did nearly seven seasons with that so I thought you know what I'm going to do something similar I'm going to start one with Chelsea so as we're getting underway there just showing you that um, we've signed drug for 775,000 quite a bargain so we had a cup word right so we'll check out all the different things the board is hopeful of a successful season we'll look forward to seeing all your, uh, your leadership and determination to get the best out of the players success in the league and they want us to win the league title in the first season We've got a scout introducing himself. Um, he's saying that we need to look for a strike, even though we just signed Drogba. Um, domestic Cup. Oh, yep, if you could win the Cup, no pressure there. And straight we've had an, an offer for Nemanja Matic, who I've signed on um, a season on the last FIFA, and he is like, the best defensive mid on the actual game, I think. Um, wow, is that really our transfer budget? That's quite a bit. Um, right, so we'll carry on here. Manchester United target Juventus as Vidal. Interesting. Um, international management just being told about there. Real Madrid hoping to sign Aguero. So we've had a deal for Gary Cale. Six and a half million. I'm going to keep hold of him because he's a good solid centre half. Um, and one of my favourite players um, that I always sign is... Let's have a look and see if he'll fit into the squad very well. Ah, that's a problem. Um... Because one of my favorite players to sign is uh, Paul Pogba. It was like he's one of my favorite players. He's just brilliant. Um, he's solid. He can shoot. He's strong. He's he's very young as well, and he's sort of an eighty-three overall. And he's he's only I think like nineteen or something like that. Um, see, so he's got like the best long shots personally. I think on the game, some of the goals I've scored with him. So as you can see, we've got quite a good team. Maybe try and get a better right back because I think Ivanovic isn't the quickest, so we could maybe look to upgrade there. Um, our midfield is incredible: Oscar, Willian, Hazard, and then we've got uh, Diego Costa, who's an absolute beast up front. And on the bench, we've got Remy, Drogba, Ramirez, uh, Mikel, Petacek, Kurt Zuma. He's a good solid centre half, quick uh, youngster. I think what we are going to do is bring Felipe Luis in the squad for Azpilicueta. Um, Andrea Schurl, I think he can get on the bench. He's very good. There's Rude Hullett's son. He's a very good player. Um, let's have a look. See, if we've got anyone else? I saw on uh, Nick Twenty Eight uh, series he on his Leeds career mode. He actually signed him, and he seemed pretty good. So, look to use him more. So overall, I think we've got quite a strong team, which is really good. Usually, I'm used to playing with Newcastle United, and their team's not exactly brilliant. Right, so. Let's carry on here. Personally, I don't think we need to sign anyone apart from maybe a right back. Uh, Mohamed Salah, um, seven million for him. Um, I think I'll keep hold of him just because that pace is going to be incredible if you bring him on as a um a sub, maybe seventieth minute onwards. But what we do need, I think, is a right back. So I think uh we're gonna have to find one. Let's have let's play a name. That's not the right thing. Any. Oh, I signed him on one of my old career modes, Halevich. Um, I don't know if you signed someone. Search players, scout instructions. I'll try it this way. Right, ah, here we go, position. Right, uh, defender, right back. Let's, let's see who it brings up. Um, now, he's a very promising one. Ignacio Abate. We'll have a, we'll put a bin for him. How much? Approach AC Milan to buy, and I reckon he's a first team uh, player. I think we'll put in we'll put in fifteen million. Cause obviously, we can afford to pay that much as we've got such a crazy starting budget. We'll start off with fifteen million, and not too much. Um, and then if they want a bit more, we'll put it on. He's twenty seven, which isn't too bad. So we'll carry on with the progress there, and let's see what happens. Atletico Madrid confirm Cavani talks. Transfer offer accepted, which is good. So we'll give him, we'll offer him eighty thousand a week. We'll put his clean sheet bonus up to ten year uh, ten percent. He's got length three year contract. We'll say he's a crucial first team player. 
Um, yep, that should be all right. It's just here, Let's see if we we'll get him then, because that'll be a really good sign straight away. The future of my. Um, we're well, trying to ask for for Oscar, and um, we're going to reject that because I think Oscar's a. As you can see, he's only 22 and he's a great little player. So we'll keep hold of him. Jog was saying that he wants to retire at the end of the season. Not a problem as he is getting... Oh, what? We can't agree for country because I don't think you actually gave me that role you offered. Well, we'll put in Port and first team player then. See if that changes his mind. Because he'll be such a good player to have. Cause one thing I do think on FIFA is that your you right and left back have to have pace. Because they'll be constantly running up the wings, but they'll also um, need to get back quickly. Once again, we had another uh, bidding for Oscar, 27 million. Not going to get rid of him. He's a, too much of a. He's too good a player. Um, there we go. They've now accepted that, and there's our first signing. Ignacio Abate is joined from AC Milan for how much was it? Um, 15 million. Yeah. So we'll put him straight into the team. I think. Um, where is he? Is he on the bottom? There we go. We'll put Ivanovic on the bench. Um, cause I think we need one. We don't need two centre defensive mids on there. And I think I reckon we'll probably will have to end up replacing John Terry as he's he's not the quickest. And I think centre halves do need to have maybe eighty, maybe seventy five pace plus. Um, right. So I reckon I've never really been a big fan of the friendly, so I usually just sim those. So we'll start doing that. Um, I usually just like to play the main season game and the cup games and we'll skip. Oh, that's a result and a half. We actually walked away there with a 4-0 victory. Remy, Oscar, Hazard and Fabregas picking up the goals. Um, Sa uh, Salo and Remy came on. Abati got a yellow card in his debut. Philippe Luis playing against his former club got a yellow card. And yeah, that's a great first result for the team. Right, so carrying on, we've got an, our next friendly will be against Villarreal, so let's see what they're like. They used to be such a good team. I can't believe they're... Well, they're definitely not the team they used to be. I want to keep Andre Schoel, because I think he's a brilliant player. I was happy when Chelsea signed him, because I remember I've seen him in the uh, German league, and he was excellent. Experiment with the crown. Dominic Salanke. We give him a run out. Once again, just sim the friendlies. Um, right, so it's carrying it on. Let's skip that. I only actually draw that game. Um, William gets the goal, which is good. Ramirez and Schill came on, and it's, it's not great that we're drawing away. Uh, Villarreal probably should have won that, but you know, it's better than losing. So, carrying on here. Our next one is against, I think that's Udinese. So, we'll, so we'll see how the team forms against these. Um, right, here we go. And skip. That's a brilliant result. 3 0 at home to uh, Houdinese. It's a very comfortable result. Oscar, Costa, and William picking up the goals. William seems to be getting quite a few goals, which is good to see. Um, right. The scout says he's found all he can find in England. Right, so let's have a look. Um, why do I think we should send him? I think there, because you've got like all of those. Even Turkey have got some good players. I reckon we'll send him to Portugal uh, first. So let's send him off to there, see what he can find. Let's advance once again. And now the other scout saying he can find all he can in Germany, right? So we'll have to send him off somewhere. Maybe to a different part. Maybe somewhere in Asia could have a look around. Did you find a hidden gem there? Oop. On me. Uh, as you can see there, right, we've received a couple of transfers. One for John Obi Mikel, who um, I think I'll keep him just because oh, I've got Ramirez as well, though, don't I? Um, just in case one of them gets injured, it's always good to have a backup player. Um, so continuing on, right, so he's found all he can in Germany, so let's send him off somewhere. Let's send him over, maybe over here. Let's send him to Korea. Never know. My friend, another Park Ji Sung. Great player. So, as you can see there, our first game of the season will be against Burnley, so it's not too bad. They're not the best team, so it's a good starting point. 
We'll just save the game there. That's something I can always recommend people to do. Constantly save your game. I mean, sometimes it may have auto save on, but sometimes it doesn't save, which can be quite uh, strange. But right, so here we go. First game of the season. Um, right, so we're playing our yellow kit. World class, four minutes. Just check everyone's fitness is all right. Looks, looks pretty good to me. Um, who else have we got? So yeah, if we need, if we need, we've got a solid bench. So if anything happens, we can always bring on players that will change the game. We've got a good solid keeper in Courtois. That's good. And new signing of Bartley was, should be brilliant. Link up play very quick wing there. Alright, so starting now. Let's get into the game. It's always good to do these to basically test your shooting accuracy and unless you do something like that. It's the first game of the season, it's a uh, way to Burnley. They're putting out quite a strong team for them. Just saying something. Um, our team's obviously a lot stronger. But this is world class, so it'll be quite a little bit difficult in the first game of the season. Right, so let's get on with the gameplay. Aiden Hazard's definitely one of the best players on the game. I mean, he's he's such a great player. Fabregas, down to Costa, spotted that run. Here's Oscar. Is it 1-0 already? Yes it is! Oscar's breaking the deadlock after 3 minutes 40. Great little link-up player play by the Chelsea team. This is what I reckon is going to happen quite a lot in the season. This quick, intricate passing. And then a nice, tidy finish there. Very pacey team. Some players not as quick as maybe they could be. It's a great start of the game. As you can see here. Not sure who that is. I think it's matchup picks out uh, Oscar. Oscar just puts it... Pass the goalkeeper there. Nice near post finish. And that's 1 0 to Chelsea. So Burnley with kickoff. Danny Ings, danger man. I would say you have to watch him. I just play the games on four minutes because I think six minutes is a bit too long. And it's um, not really the best just, uh, continuity play. And then you get, end up don't, uh, playing for that many games. And it's a good tackle by William, I think. Nice right, Trippier, who was. Was meant to uh, be signed by quite a few big clubs, actually. No, a lot of clubs are after him. Good tackle there, though. And now Willian down to Fabregas. Gets dispossessed. Having the this many good players in one team, though, it's just it's uh, it's enjoyable to play with as well. There's a bit of a crunch. Stay on side. Oh, I was, was going to go to Willian. It's a shame. You've just got to watch on world class because they do defend quite well, but then they can also get you quickly on the counter attack, which can become really frustrating. So let's just watch it. Watch the defense here. Watch the def Where's me left back? Nowhere to be bloody seen. And that's an absolute joke. I mean, where the left back is. Where the on earth is Felipe Luis? He's not. I, d I don't understand what went on there. I mean, why my, my left back thought he was a centre midfielder? It makes no sense. I don't think I brought him up, so I'm straight away to try and get another one back. That's not gone down too well. Right, so let's, tr let's try and regain the lead. Good pressing from the match there. Problem with Hazard is, which I've, I have noticed recently, is that he's not the strongest, which can be a problem. I mean, he's quick, yes, and he's. Obviously an incredible player, but he's in, he gets uh, pushed off the ball quite easily. Get quite a good interception there. That's a new sign in a bar there. Well, I really like just because of his insane pace. Like I mentioned earlier, it's always good to have in a left back and right back. Go on. Right, Costa, you need to close him down quicker than that. As you can see, just constantly right on the heels. Felipe Luis. I'd say was at fault for the goal there. Wow, that was 
Certainly uh, not Premier League style passing there from Burnley. So now a Barty, down to Fabrega, Oscar. Just trying to find some space, but I think they're on uh, Park the Bus at the minute. Just about finding the gap to get through and then implementing an the attack. This is a bit better from us. We're starting to make a bit of progress up the field. Just at the last minute from about to play him through, gets tackled. Happens quite a lot, but you just have to get used to it and be able to adapt to it. Right, so continuing on. They've now got an attack here. Don't let them get the cross in, block them off. There we go, stand them up. Don't slide in, because they just run past. We give away a corner, just try and hold them up. Right, so let's try and break now. The fitness seems to have gone down quite quickly, which isn't great. Just waiting for someone to make a move. There's Costa to turn. Oh, they're defending quite well at the minute, although, like I mentioned before, I think they are on park the bus, which is quite irritating. Um, just got to hold them back. Fabregas. How I referee. Now this is a great opportunity. I'm not sure whether to use the baits and free kick technique here because I think it's a bit too close. So I think I'm just going to have to go with the dip and free kick. See who's got the best free kicks. Oh, I thought there will be a lot more. Right, so we'll, we'll try here with Cesc Fabregas. Oh, off the crossbar. What an effort. Keeper was beaten. He's in no man's land. Oh, should have probably scored there. A great effort from the Sesca Vegas there. John Terry out of position. There we go, Oscar. Good tracking back. Not sure why John Terry is further up the field than Oscar, mind, but. Let's see what pace Diego Costa has got. Waiting for someone to come into the box. No support. It's a joke. Oh, that's half time there. And it's 1 1. I'd say it's probably an even result. Maybe we should just be ahead. And I think uh, Fabregas probably should have put that free kick away. It's a great effort. Keeper was definitely beaten. Hit the crossbar. Right, so carrying on now. Burnley just keeping the ball. Let's try and put a foot in. Try and stop the attack. Ah. Wasn't green. And now here we've got in the attack is Diego Costa he's against Marnie. Oh, oh, what a save. Just managed to break away from the defender there. Right. Ah, straight to the keeper. There's a strong thing with Chelsea. The defence and strike forces are actually very tall. But the some of the most of the midfielders are, I'd say, probably below six foot. So. What a ball. Referee. Oh, oh, how is how is it still one one? I don't understand. Great play there. Oscar seems to be an incredible player in that attack in mid roll. Oh, good block. I think I'll be disappointed if we come away over here with a draw because I think we've thoroughly deserved to win this game by now. Right, let's just hold the defence up. I, did, I went against my own rule there. Never bring your defenders forward. Thank God we have Thibaut Courtois in goal. Right, so it's Brig. Fabregas seems to be getting certainly kicked off every two seconds. There's William. He's got the pace. Oh, but Arfield just managed to get back and recover. We're going to knock up to attacking now because I think we need to just push up a little bit more because we're de defensive midfielders are sitting a bit too deep. Move them up a bit. And then I think we'll make a sub in the 70th minute. It's usually what I do, just the legs start to get tired. And if you bring on pace, that certainly helps. Nicely done from Abati there. We'll pass it back to him. Try and get the wing now. Let's test out this guy's pace. See what Williams got to offer. We we'll found him again. He's against Ward. Let's go past him. It's William. Sweated. There we go. 2 1. Another great Chelsea move there, and it's Oscar again with the goal. This guy is an absolute 
uh, genius in this in the cam roll. Highly recommend them, guys. Test them out. Write in the comments if uh, you used to try him out in any roles because he's not the quickest, so I wouldn't play him maybe left or right midfield. But as a cam, he's brilliant. Great goal there from Chelsea. Willian outpacing Ward. He tries to bring him down, beats him. Oscar's there in between the two defenders now. I think we'll we'll go park the bus, but I think we'll also make some changes. Substitutions are inc are very important on career mode. Not as much on um, ultimate team, but right. So I think we'll bring on Ramirez. Um, who else we've got? I think we'll bring on Remy. Just to inject some more pace up front, and I think Oscar can come off because he's been played really well. And I think we're going to put in the camera. Well, I think we'll try Andrea Sherlin in the camera because I think he could be really good there. Cause he's good let on either foot. Right, so as the second half starts now, Burnley with kick off. Not the second half, sorry, what am I talking about? Get myself mixed up. Right, so let's try and let's try and keep the ball. Let's go possession. It's always a good thing to do. Basically what this does, it moves your players into space and basically whenever you play FIFA you always need to think about where the next pass is gonna come from. Let's put the afterburners on with Hazard. I'm pretty sure he's quicker than Trippier. There we go. Just, ah, that's. Not really sure what just went on there. Just try, once again, just trying to keep the ball. It's the best thing to do. Let's try and get it back off them. They're starting to get up the field again. Bit of space there. Shouldn't be. Need to close that gap. Nicely done by Willie in there. If you can get the ball, that'd be good. Well played. I think the subs haven't came on yet. I either haven't, so maybe just try and kick the ball up the field a bit. Pretty sure that was a body check there, so should have been a free kick. Just slide in, try and stop the player, get their subs on, get some fresh legs on. I think we need them at the minute, we're getting pushed back as well. Let's try and put a foot in. Hazard, let's do that. Very good. Right. Smack the ball away. Players can get out a bit more. Substitutions still haven't came on. Did that the 70th minute? Or just... I think that was offside, yeah. So subs are coming on now. 20 minutes later. That's a joke, though. Right, so let's just drop back a bit. Don't commit, just follow your man. Keep following your man, let's not lose him. Don't let that ball get in, he's let the ball get in. Keep ball quarter, and there we go. And that's the end of the, the first game of the season there. We've come away with a 2-1 victory, which I think was thoroughly deserving. You can see the chances there. We had six shots, six on target, which is good. Maybe should have scored a few more. Uh, pass accuracy was 82%, which is always good. Um, we definitely outplayed Burnley there. I think that the goal we conceded was uh, a bit daft, and as you can see, we won't be top of the league. So I think, other, yeah, as you can see, other teams won, scored a couple more goals. Um, so we'll carry on here. Let's see what else. What's going on? Costa shines in Chelsea debut. He was brilliant, though. I gotta admit that he did play well. Right, so a couple of scouts have came up here. So. Um, let's see what we could go for. Let's have a look. Um, I don't think we really need anything. That's the problem. Um, so you sound all you can find. I think what we'll do is we'll save it there. Always save your game. Can never stress how important that is. Because if you play a game and it's a really difficult one, then you end up losing your progress. That can be an absolute nightmare. All right. So I think what's going to happen is I think I'll end the first episode here, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then feel free to uh, press the like button. Comment if you think of any players that could sign, which will strengthen up my team. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. So, yep, I'll see you guys on the next video.